Hello everybody, uh, today I have another video for you guys. Today um, I'm going to be checking out a suite of malware known as the Bakagaten. I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong. This was made by Dominic Hayes, a uh, developer of Farron OS. Uh, I'll put his links in the description. Um, this is basically a suite of viruses that's just kind of akin to that of the MEMS Trojan, except this is a group of malware instead of one, and it will, in the end, leave your system basically unbootable. Um, now, I'm running this on Windows XP Service Pack 3, fully updated as far as I know. This is a build from 2013, and if I go into my properties, the Service Pack 3 version 2002. Um, anyway, so first thing I'm going to do, go to this folder, egg, um, and then there's three folders here, step one to three for different operating systems. I'm going to be running this one. Um, I already have 7-zip installed, so I'm just going to uh, ignore that step. D-Control. Now, D-Control is a thing introduced in Windows uh, 8, I believe, uh, with Windows Defender and Smart Screen and all that, so I'm going to skip that step. And uh, step three, install.nets. Now, this text document here, install, is, it install as many .nets as possible. The Bakagadin requires .NET Framework 2 and 3.5. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, unzip this .zip. Okay, now I'm going to install .NET Framework 2. Oh, I think .NET 2 might already be installed. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, all of these are already installed. I'm going to install .NET 4 if that's not already installed. <laughs> okay, so .NET Framework 4 is installed. So now, um... I think that's basically it. Step four. Now, this isn't the executable I'm going to be using, um, but and also preca precautions that I'm going to be using. So first, I'm going to uh, change the date and time. Uh, time zone. I'm going to change this to GMT plus three thirty to run, apply, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the control panel here. Uh, and I'm going to change the regional options. Now this is going to be changed to English United Kingdom, even though it's not where I am. <laughs> and this is what I'm going to be using. This is a, a alpha version. And I'm also going to be disconnecting the virtual machine's uh, network adapter, just in case. And there we go. I'm going to run the Bakagadin here. Danger, malicious software. What you just launched is malware, Win32, Bakagadin blah 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 okay this, this kind of reminds me of wanna cry i put in the password proceed and then it's gonna start playing some lovely music here it's gonna it's gonna show a bunch of splashes here that uh, uh key gen by candace anyway uh start patch actually let's go about the Bakagadin is a totally legit cracking cracking tool for Windows. It allows you to unlock major improvements. That flashed something for a second. Um, anyway, start patch. Okay, so there's science mode and normal mode. The creator of this has recommended I use normal mode because uh, science mode is quote boring. Anyway, um, gonna begin, I guess. And then it's gonna have a bunch of viruses down here, Mal malware, trojans, and worms. I'm gonna start. There we go. It's currently patching Microsoft Windows. Now it's going to take a while at one of these yeeting tools in addition so they can't ruin the clock later. We'll rest in peace to VMware tools. Deleting the recovery environment. As far as I know XP doesn't have one so it's kind of weird. Hold on, Microsoft Windows has been successfully patched. Enjoy your new PC. We just need to restart your computer, which we will automatically do in 13 seconds to give your computer time to apply the changes not yet fully applied. Okay. Welcome to hell. Good luck, Windows user. <laughs> oh, I just saw an error message there. Okay, so this has changed the username to Konobaka. Uh, just gonna click OK here. The color scheme is already uh, screwed up, and the wallpaper has been shifted to the right for some reason. Safety warning, this Windows installation is currently infected with the Bakagadin. Do not insert any drops of data on them as they'll get infected. You have 40 seconds before the Bakagadin brings up brings the chaos. Once your 40 seconds are up, the Bakagadin will unleash the current round of your Windows installation. 
banana. You may not log out now. There are viruses nearby. Killed the theming service. It's basically switched it to kind of classic. I'll move this window if this thing was in the way. Uh, it's really quiet, but uh, slow down Windows XP welcome music is playing. And, oh. And there we go already. This is... <laughs> In case you guys were wondering, no, I will not be sharing the link to download this thing. Just mainly because this is malware. Uh, I don't want anybody to do malicious things with it or accidentally like mess up their computer or anything like that. Look at these Pikachu's here. <laughs> now the Pikachu comes in uh, four stages, four rounds, basically. And they get more severe as time passes, eventually get re getting radio system files. I actually checked out an early version of this on my uh, live stream where I uh, basically destroyed Windows 7 for its 13th anniversary. It's 12th anniversary, sorry. And uh, this may look like a bunch of noise, but it's actually the Happy New Year 1999 <laughs> uh, program. You can't even open run. It's been blocked. <laughs> it's gonna launch approximately 17 instances of you are an idiot. Just a normal Tuesday afternoon at the office. I mean, like, you know, the reason why all new Windows XP that I just bought last week and uh, it looks a little strange, but I mean, it's probably just me not being familiar with it. But I like all these features, such as the uh, the the boxes flying around the screen, calling me calling me an idiot. Nobody's stucky programming. I don't know what this means. Polish. Now all the title bars and like everything is being changed to uh, "Welcome to Hell." It seems like between millions of people around the world, I found you. Don't remember. Don't forget to remember this day. I didn't get to read the rest of it. What is your name? Does your name add up to six six six? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> We have this little puppy. Uh, hi, I'm an Albanian. Unfortunately, I'm not able to harm your computer. Please be so kind to delete one of your important files yourself and then forward me to other users. Many thanks for your cooperation. Best regards, Albanian virus. Please just... Just let me play my pinball. The start button's so small. S. Bill Gates is guilty of Monopoly? Oh no. I want to see the proof. Automatic updates? I already installed all the automatic updates, though. <laughs> Windows Vista Upgrade Advisor! I don't know, can my computer run Windows Vista? Well, I we'll have to find out. I've yet to see the proof that Bill Gates is guilty of Monopoly. I'm starting to have doubts about this. Your computer can run Windows Vista. Based on scan of your system, Windows Vista Ultimate appears to be the best addition for you. Wow. Can't wait. The mouse also seems to be moving by itself. Upgrading the Windows Vista? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't wait. Windows Vista Ultimate is the most complete edition of Windows and a great choice for your PC. 10, 9... Okay, so this is the countdown for when it's gonna reboot and go into the next stage. Although when I initially tried this, it skipped the second stage entirely, went straight to the third stage? I don't know. It's so laggy, the timer isn't even working correctly. Upgrading for Windows XP Service Pack 3, that is right. The timer's finished. Your upgrade to Windows Vista Ultimate was complete. Oh my god! <laughs> Real. Shut down. Feel to initialize because the Windows station shutting down. Windows Vista! <laughs> This is Windows Vista, this is great. <laughs> oh my god. OS10 Panther. Oh, <laughs> crying. Wow, this is Windows Vista. Wow, this Windows Vista really looks great. You let Explorer? No! What happened to my Windows Vista? Vista upgrade prank got you. This is just a funny joke. No! So I was gonna reveal it a minute ago. Ever! Code error 
three two one two five five two please execute this tool in ms dos welcome to hell welcome to hell thank you for prefer kapersky labs projects <laughs> I can't believe Bill Gates is guilty of such a thing. Uh, I'm just gonna reboot this manually. <laughs> VMware? Hello? It's completely frozen. Huh? Uh, task manager. <laughs> okay then. VMware Workstation cannot connect to the virtual machine. Make sure you have rights to run the program, access all directories the program uses, and, ex and access all directories for temporary files. All pipe instances are busy, excuse me? VMware? Run? Okay, so, um... As well as destroying Windows XP, this also destroyed, uh... VMware as a whole, I can no longer start this thing up. <laughs> I'd say I did a pretty good job of destroying Windows XP to the point where I can no longer start up the virtual machine. It brings up an error saying all pipe instances are busy. The virtual machine is bricked. Windows XP is not bricked. I don't think that was the objective of the video. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Um, toodles.